Everybody, welcome to the channel. We're outside and we're going to be taking a look at the 250cc Power Smart snowblower. This is a 250cc Power Smart 26 inch. Now, in my last video, we were unboxing it, kind of taking our first look, firing it up for the first time. For me, it's the same day. For you guys, it's going to be a couple days later. But uh, <laughs> we are going to do a little snow removal in the yard. Now, I don't want to wait too long in between because we're actually supposed to have some 40 degree weather this week and I'm afraid I won't have any snow. I'm not seeing a fresh storm on the radar coming through at the moment, but if we do and hopefully when we do, we will be working that machine. I'll be taking it to my snow removal jobs that I have and I will really be pushing it and uh, working it, working it, you know, really working it over. So right now, I'm looking out back here from some other snowblower reviews that I've done because in one of my last uh, snowblower review videos, we reviewed the Power Smart 212cc 26 inch cut. Now, I believe Power Smart has changed the 212 from a 26 and they have sized it down to a 24 inch cut, but regardless, it's the same motor and it's pretty much the same thing. Anyway. The one we're looking at today though is the 250. Now my plan is to come through and make a couple passes down the yard here so you guys can see it work. It will be my first time doing any snow removal with it so we'll be able to assess that. We're also going to take a look and see how well the uh, hand warmers warm up as I've got no gloves on and uh, see how the light works. Well, it's daylight but you know, we'll have the light on. Um, it's looking like we've only got maybe three inches to four inches this is from about a week ago so we've had quite a bit of melt some of it's a little bit a little you know packy a little hard um but we'll see we'll see how it goes so let's walk back up here real quick just kind of look at the machine and go over it real fast so 250 cc power smart 26 inch all right this is an upgrade from the last one I reviewed, whole different chute assembly. It is a plastic chute, which I like. This all looks pretty much the same as the last machine. The whole lower section looks the same. Something that's different on this to the other one I reviewed, we've got a Briggs and Stratton motor. The other one didn't have a name on it, okay? So this is the Briggs and Stratton 1150 Snow Series, okay? It says 11.50 foot-pounds gross torque, 2,600 RPM, some other stuff. Um, we've got our key switch. Make sure your gas is on, all right? All this sort of stuff for firing it up. It's got electric start up here. You put a lead cord in, and then you can start it. What else? we got our light switch, heated grip switch. I like these grips. These, I think these are going to be great. Can't wait to really try them out. Um, our controls, we got nice hand-sized controls, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can fire it up together and then I'm going to set you guys down there and uh, we'll remove some snow and see how it does. Turn this on, should be ready to go, so...
this throws pretty high, pretty far, which is pretty awesome. Um, in that little bit that I just did real time, the heat, the handle grips are warming up just a little, just slightly. So I think, I think they'll get warmer with more use, you know, like the long, the more prolonged you're using the machine, the grips will warm up that much more for your hands. Now let's see here. Uh, it goes pretty quick in forward. This is your forward gear. All right. So I was only on about level three in this last little run, which is pretty good because the snow didn't pile up as bad at the end. Reverse is a little slow. It was quicker to release the gear, right? Release this and just pull it back myself. As you saw here, I sped up and almost ran backwards with the machine. It is pretty light. So if you want a light machine, this is light. It doesn't have like, it's not gonna help you turn or anything like that, but it's a light machine. Now, in the sense of uh, the last machine for them I reviewed, there is an upgrade on this that I do like, you know, besides the, the handles and the lights. I like that I can turn on the auger and I can turn on, we'll just say the throttle. I can hold the throttle down and the auger stays down. This gives me the ability to continue to walk and adjust where the snow needs to go. The other machine doesn't have that feature, so you have to stop, adjust while you're still throwing if you want, and then go forward. So that's a nice little feature on this machine. Um, it cleared pretty good. I'd say it did did a well job. Again, remember the skid plates aren't set, guys. You know, here's here's our snow depth to my hand, about three inches, I guess. Maybe four down there. It looks like a little bit deeper. Um, not going hog wild because I actually want to see if I can get a sled track together for the kids. We got a little hill, but they like to sleigh ride and you know set that things up every year. I tend to make one this year. We've been a little behind, but yeah. So anyway, um, I think it's I think it's a pretty decent little snowblower to be honest. It's not too heavy, you know. Some big name brands are very heavy, um, which is an up and down, right? So a heavier machine, one, you could have a bigger, heavier motor. Two, you could have heavier gauge metal and steel here and here. I'm not sure how thick it is on this, but I will say compared to another 254cc machine I have, this is definitely a lighter machine. So, you know, if you're someone that needs a lighter machine to maneuver around, this is it. I think this is going to be great for me going to do snow removal jobs. It's going to be a lot lighter than my other name brand machine to get in and out of the bed of my truck and uh you know make loading and unloading very quickly very quick so looking forward to uh, really doing that hopefully we get a storm now even if we don't get a storm and we don't get to use this a whole lot more you guys can see it throws pretty good we'll probably make a couple more passes and clear up over here before we go now something to keep in mind in the future we are going to compare this to the smaller 212 cc and after that video we may compare this to another snowblower i have another another brand that you would all know and uh see how they see if we can you know get them to perform side by side um that other one is a 254 cc which i've you know been making videos on you've all seen it but i will say guys as of right now i'm i'm pretty happy with the machine and uh, I really am looking forward to putting it through its paces. But before we go, let's uh, let's make a couple passes. Let's clean up this area. I want to throw the snow here to kind of build it up for the uh, kids sled track. So don't go anywhere. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. When you guys hit subscribe, hit that bell. Hit all. Make sure YouTube notifications are on. You know, if this is your first video you guys are checking out for me, I've got quite a few snowblower review videos. I have chainsaw review videos, chainsaw repair videos. We are also working on repairing some old vintage chainsaws start to finish, getting them back to, uh, you know, where they can cut and run well. On this channel, I also do a lot of chainsaw carving. So if that interests you, be sure to check that stuff out. But uh, let's make a couple more passes and uh, see how she does.
right guys, so that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, the uh, throwing from the chute gets a pretty good distance. One, two, you can be pretty precise with it. When I was way back there, I was trying to hit the camera. We hit it, and then I wanted to throw the snow to one side of the camera, and uh, which we did, and then we were able to throw the snow around to the other side of the camera, um, throwing it in spots where I want it for the kids, you know, to be able to sleigh ride and stuff. It can be pretty accurate. Now, when you want to go just next to yourself, say you only have a couple feet, if you go directly to the side, it does go quite a ways. So what you have to do is actually angle it to throw right here in front. It might seem silly, but I've had some people ask about, you know, well, I need to, I only have a one foot area or a two foot area to put snow next to me due to the neighboring property. That's all right. It's all about shoot control. And this has it and it stays there like it hasn't walked at all it stayed in place and so like let's see here this is about straight right in front of the snowblower when i have to do that for snow removal i move it just to the side probably about there and it'll throw it right in line just out of my way i'll pick up a little bit but it'll make a nice little berm so yeah that's it though guys first use of the uh, 250cc power smart 26 inch snowblower with that Briggs and Stratton motor. Right now, running great. I think it's a great machine. Can't wait to really put it to the test and uh, really put the thing to work. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Did I miss something? Was there something else you were looking for on it? But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all. Make sure YouTube notifications are on so you guys don't miss those future videos. Check out some fresh videos that are popping up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.